keep getting visas every five years or what? Yes, madam. <laughs> With respect to visa acquisition uh -huh. or um, getting visas to um, visit the country, since your passport as the United States of America passport or whatever passport, mm -hmm. you would need to obtain visa to enter Ghana. Okay. Now, if you have a valid residence permit, mm -hmm. you don't need a visa. Oh. Oh, okay. So once we're on the land? And... Yes. Now, um, there are steps to um, follow in acquiring a residence permit. Um, one is through marriage um, and then uh, business. If you are engaged in um, business here, you apply to Ghana Immigration Service. They assess your application and then they will determine, and your, your application will indicate whether you want it for a year, two years, five years. But once you have a valid residence permit, you don't need a visa to enter Ghana. Okay. So um, when we get to that bridge, we will go. But as it stands now, once your, your passport is a foreign passport, you need a visa to enter Ghana. But with a visa acquisition, now that the government is uh, doing everything possible to bring back our brothers and sisters in the diaspora, I think they have um, come up with uh, this um, convenient way of acquiring visas at the airport. They said visa on arrival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But it ends in January. It's only a short time. Yeah. Yes. It's a good start. Yes. If, <laughs> if, if, I like if, that. It's a good start. Yes. <laughs> That's why it's a good start. If you, you intend to stay for a longer period, you would have to justify why you would need a, a longer um, visa at, um, stay. So um, it would depend on your application. But the visa on arrival is, is, is um, it's because of the, the, the season. You know, we are, we are, the, the year has been dubbed as the year of return. We are almost getting to the end of the year, mm -hmm. and then um, the anticipation or the, the, the thinking of the government is that you would not be here for a very long time. So if you are here to um, partake in the activities um, with respect to the, the, the year, of year of return, they don't see you going beyond a certain date. But if you are really here to um, undertake um, uh, projects like uh, developing your land or business or something mm -hmm. that requires you right. to have a longer visa duration date, I mean, the, 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 the states will look at it. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, so um, this is to uh, formally get you in and then if you really want a visa that extends to let's say a month two or three that one it can be it can be taken care of yes and in, in and in these days if uh, like our brothers and sisters uh, from the diaspora these days the government have really opened its door um, when you come and you set up a business um, it is easy now, when you set up a business, you are going to employ people. So when you employ people, what do you do? You have relieved the government of unemployment. As a result of that, they look at that trends and then uh, uh, you get a... Uh, what That's what I said. It will depend on your application. Exactly. People also come in to do charity work. Yeah. Charity work is not done in a day or two. two. There are orphanages, there are places you want to visit, there are communities you want to help. I mean, all these things will inform the state as to the, the, the duration that you ought to be given. Okay. So it will depend on your application. But whatever it is, you have to apply for it. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, how does the right to abode, if you acquire the right to abode, 
Do you have to continue to get visas or will the right to a vote kind of say, okay, they are in Ghana? Yes, that's what it is. It is um, once you have uh, property here, you would have to take your 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 proof of the property. Property. And they'll give you stay. Yes, and then you use it to apply for a stay. For a stay, because if you have acquired property here, and I can assure you that the government is willing to have even all of you come back home. <laughs> so once you can show evidence, cogent evidence that you have a place of abode here that legally belongs to you, you use that to apply for your residence permits and you would, you would be given um, a, a longer three, five years and when you stay in for a period of time, you know, with time, you can even apply for Ghanaian citizenship. Yeah. It also goes through steps. Yeah, at a point in time, you even appear before a magistrate to take the oath of allegiance and all that. That one is a different arrangement altogether. <coughs> but for now, once you have your title deeds, that's the uh, lease documents that shows that you are a Ghanaian, no, no um, you have a property here. You can use that to apply for your residence permit, and the residence permit will be on your um, uh, and your passport. But when you are coming to Ghana, you don't need a visa. It 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 gives you unfettered access to the country. Yes. One more last question, if there is none, we we'll go to the next stage. I'm sure why you have the properties here. All of you will be given yes. nationality. Yes. Mm. Yes. And no, you come no. and stay. You can decide to stay and move at any time. Yeah. Nobody will be checking you mm. like a Ghanaian. Mm. Yes. So I'm I'm mm. happy you have had that mind to put up such a project. Mm. If you have it, you'll be given the nationality by going through the process. Yeah. And to, you'll never be denied because the government is very keen in bringing you all the diaspora back to their land. The here is for you. Mm -hmm. Only that uh, some activity that went on has moved some of you out. So you are part of us. Yes. yes. Don't consider Ghana as a foreign land. No, you are not a foreign land. No, welcome home. We just don't want to be considered as foreigners. You are not. No. You are not foreigners. Yes. You are you part are of us. Yes. It's just that we are, you, you cannot speak your mother tongue. Yeah, right. it, it is, yeah. But you are, you, are, you are part of us. I, I'm sure if we conduct a scientific, um, that is the, yeah. who will be related. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. We are. Yeah. So, Kwabnas, um, uh, I guess we could take some group photos. Oh, okay. With the, yeah. with the elders in the community, uh, we, uh, we, we would like to visit. They would like to visit the land to see the okay. land. Okay. And then uh, we have to come back with a report uh, to Nana, and then uh, from there we will go to the uh, uh, the, the, the ocean, yeah. the beach side, and from there we, I think we will just check out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, uh, <clears throat> on this note, uh, I have to ask permission from Nana. Uh, if Nana has something to say, I have nothing else. But if Nana um, and none of us have something to say, we'd like to ask permission from Nana and then uh, uh, to see the land. And then uh, we'll come back with our reports to you. Okay. Me. I'm assuring all of them that uh, they will soon get nationality. So they shouldn't bother themselves so much. Amen. Uh, the visa matter will go off. Yeah. Yes. If you have this place developed, yes, uh, some of us can write a tattoo, uh, write to certain places where you'll be seen as a group and given the nationality. Mm -hmm. You are part of us, you are not foreigners. Yeah. Thank you. So that problem of visa will go off. Yeah. Thank you. Let's make this one 
a reality. The rest will follow. Right. Permission to see the land. Proud <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, what um uh Nanao Kitichi is saying is that it's just happy that you are here and uh, it will be very happy for you to learn our language yes. and uh, I never told him that he started already. No. I never told him. <laughs> yeah. Akwaba. Yeah. Akwaba. Yeah. Akwaba. Yeah. 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 Now, um, exactly. All of us will take a lesson. <laughs> so we will learn the language and uh, they open their hands to receive you into this community. And as you come into this community, um, whatever you need, whatever you want, just come to them straight. Their doors are always open to you. Um, they are just behind the Paramount Chief. Everything that the Paramount Chief have said is true and they're just behind him. For them to help you to have a memorable stay uh, now in Ghana and then when you go, you have to come back. Two, the land that they are giving it to you, they want you to process this land, do something on the land. <coughs> do something on the land. Now when you do something on the land, when, uh, uh, what? Are, they are not anticipating any problem because the land belongs to them and they have given it to you. Mm -hmm. So when you do something on the land, mm -hmm. that will compel you always to come. Mm -hmm. every, maybe twice, thrice, four, five, ten, six times in a year. Yeah. So every year you'll be able to come. At least if you are able to put up a house, you can rent it. Maybe uh, 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 Bomani's uh, brother will come and then he need a place. So I have a house there, Airbnb, go there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Maybe you have a vehicle. You bring the vehicle down. What happened? Uh, the money brother comes. Uh, he need a vehicle to go to Kofodia, Takra, the Kumasi. Oh, the vehicle is there. You go and then you rent it. Because there are faithful people here who are going to help you uh, to go through all those things. So they are so happy seeing you and you are welcome to Jazzy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to be a cow. 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 I'm going to be a cow.